Gjurgjan Kaskat, Sankatsats Hamematutsum, Meroktine. So, dear minister, dear uh, friend Marcus, uh, I'm delighted to be here, and I would like, first of all, to extend uh, um, to express my appreciation for the warmest welcome that uh, uh, was uh, extended to me and my delegation. Indeed, this is the second time. Uh, within six months uh, that we meet, but also we uh, during these months we have uh, had several phone conversations. So we are constantly in touch, and uh, we happy to note that the dialogue, political dialogue uh, between Estonia and Armenia, uh, is uh, developing as well as uh, the, our relations in uh, different uh, uh, areas. Um, both then and now we had a lot to discuss and outline our expectations in bilateral agenda as well as cooperation in different formats. Dear uh, attendees, um, I note with satisfaction that we have indeed succeeded in building a strong political dialogue and partnership based on common principles and shared commitment for a prosperous and more secure future for our countries. Independence, sovereignty, decisiveness uh, to further enhance democracy and democratic principles. These are values that bring our like-minded countries and peoples closer and closer. Now it is uh, right time that we expand our partnership to different sectors and build partnership in targeted key for our society's fields. We believe that the economic component in bilateral relations should be enhanced to boost trade and investment. And for that, we have a huge potential to use the innovation and high tech where uh, both Armenia and Estonia are making significant progress. On the hand, Estonia's remarkable, uh, on one hand, Estonia's remarkable achievement in IT, dig digitalization, innovation, cybersecurity, and on the other hand, Armenia's willingness to bring more change in this regard, both into public and private sector, create ideal ground for mutually beneficial cooperation. It relates also to broadening our cooperation in education, tourism, as well as um, energy, culture, and elsewhere. Also, we appreciate the resumption of development cooperation between our countries, where priority uh, areas of cooperation are education, democracy, and good governments, poverty reduction, and entrepreneurship. Besides bilateral cooperation, we have developed very positive dynamics of engagements and mutual support in multilateral formats where we very often share the main uh, priorities and support each other's uh, candidacies. The bigger mosaic of our partnership, of course, includes uh, the activities in the format of the European Union where we have uh, multi-layer cooperation implementation of already existing arrangements, including for strengthening Armenia's resilience and diversifying the economy, but also looking beyond for more prospects. Here, I appreciate Estonia's participation in the EU monitoring mission in Armenia, as well as the expressed support for the start of the visa liberalization dialogue. We hope that jointly we will soon reach new important milestones. Dear colleagues, today uh, we have also discussed regional topics, overall geopolitical situation and ongoing challenges. Uh, following our earlier conversations, I briefed my counterpart on recent developments in South Caucasus, including the process of normalization of relations with uh, our neighbors. Uh, with Turkey, yeah, uh, oh, Armenia is ready to fully normalize the relations, establish diplom diplomatic relations and open the borders. Uh, during our, uh, and as a result of our dialogue with our Turkish counterparts, we already uh, came to concrete agreements to open and may outline the steps that can be um, undertaken towards full nor normalization. I'm speaking about opening the border for third uh, country uh, nationals, but also Armenian and Turkish citizens uh, who hold diplomatic passports. Uh, on and on, we continuously reconfirm our uh, determination to this arrangement. Uh, and I truly believe that it's already the time to implement the arrangements to see the uh, things um, happening on the ground. When it comes to our relations with Azerbaijan, uh, again, we have been engaged in negotiations and we almost uh, finalized the t text of the draft of peace treaty and Armenia is ready to uh, finalize, uh, completely finalize the text within a month and sign the peace treaty with uh, Azerbaijan. I cannot say that we have seen 
uh, uh, the positive reaction of our Azerbaijani counterparts to this proposal to sign the peace treaty within a month, but the dedication to peace agenda and uh, determination of Armenia to normalize uh, relations with Azerbaijan uh, and to recognize each other's territorial integrity on the basis of 1991 Almata Declaration and to uh, uh, continue the process of delimitation on the basis of nine. Almata Declaration of 1991 is uh, uh, is uh, is in place. Is there? Um, I have also. Um, uh, I, I truly believe that uh, we do have the momentum to close the page of the conflict in South Caucasus and and bring peace to our region. And I truly believe that this peace uh, uh, will be beneficial for all the peoples and countries in the region. Uh, we will, of course, continue working in that direction and count on strong support of our partners interested in stability and durable peace in the South Caucasus. Dear friend, concluding my uh, uh, remarks, I would like also to once again express appreciation for the warm welcome, for the support that you show to the democratization and democratic reforms uh, in Armenia, to the European aspirations of uh, citizens of Armenia, and also to this peace agenda and bringing peace to South uh, Caucasus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Arad.